So I'm uploading the video I just did on this current situation um, with my daughter and my ex-wife. Um, I sent that text to my ex-wife this morning, um, probably about an hour or two ago, probably about an, a couple hours ago, um, in response to her blaming everything on my daughter. Um, and I sent her back uh, quite a scathing email, you know, or text message. So right now she's just blowing my phone up with text messages again, telling me to shut the fuck up, mind my own business, um, even after she pulled me into all this. So that's what they're doing, you know, because I called her out. I called her out, exactly. I, I blamed it all on her. I said, you know, Sammy has nothing to do with this other than you, you know, giving birth and bringing her into this hell. Other than that, you've created this hell. You know, so anyways, um, yeah, she's blowing my phone up right now telling me how I'm an idiot and retarded and I know nothing and you know what I mean? So just constant gaslighting, you know, just constant gaslighting. Um, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. That's why you can't talk with somebody who won't heal. Because it's like going around in circles. It's like beating around a bush. You'll never get anywhere. Because they haven't healed. They're running around in circles themselves. They don't even know. They're going... You know? It's terrible, man. It's terrible. This abuse just keeps on happening. It just keeps on going. And the abusers just keep on denying and all these useful idiots just keep on propagating the, the abuse. And these useful idiots, all you useful idiots out there, just keep on covering the abuse up. All you useful idiots out there. <laughs> My wife just said, you are just talking out of your jealous ass. I mean, she'll just say whatever nonsensical shit she can say to me. She literally just texts me that. I mean, jealous of what? You're sitting here telling me all your problems and you're a single mom with all these problems trying to raise these kids with a crackhead all by yourself and it's, you're not giving me help. And you're calling me jealous. What are you, you, it makes no sense. These women will say whatever and you useful idiots will just eat it up because it's too inconvenient to find out the truth. It's too inconvenient to actually care about somebody. It's too inconvenient to pull yourself away for a, a few weeks out of your life to understand a major s abusive situation that's gone down in your family. That's way too fucking inconvenient for you. You don't have time for that. You have kids to raise. You have TV to watch. You have new toys to buy. You have all this shit to keep you busy. You don't want to hear about abuse. You don't want to hear about this uncomfortable shit. You'd rather watch 600 pound life. You'd rather watch all these fucking shows of all these people all over the world that you don't even know and attach yourself to them. than even give a fuck about the abuse that's right there in your family. <laughs> what the fuck what kind of world are we living in? I had such bad shame and guilt yesterday. I had such bad oppression all day yesterday. I wanted to make a video so bad, but I couldn't. Because the shame and guilt was so bad, it was telling me to shut the fuck up. It was like, what the fuck are you doing? Quit talking about this shit. Nobody believes you. Nobody cares. Shut the fuck up. And I didn't make a video yesterday. I couldn't. It's hard making one now. This is not easy to do. I'm so through and so tired of all this shit. I am tired of talking about it. I want to go put my hands physically on something and take care of shit. I'm so tired of this shit. I'm so tired of going around in circles. I'm so tired of the abuse. I'm so tired of having to talk about the abuse. It's unreal. It's absolutely unreal. And if I just had to deal with my mom and I just had to deal with my sister and I just had to deal with my ex-wives, that'd be one thing. But it's all you useful idiots out there propping these stupid, selfish, cock-sucking bitches up. 
You guys are propagating this shit. You guys are just as much to blame. Knowing that this abuse is going on and saying it's too much for your, your pretty little ears to take. To quit talking bad about your mother. The fuck is wrong with you cocksuckers? Put every single fucking one of you in your places. Spineless little bitches. Spineless, man. My wife just keeps, my ex-wife just keeps hitting me up. That's why I keep on looking up. Just text message after text message saying, you know, and I can just read like the first two lines of it, you know, just calling me names, saying how my life shit, saying I didn't do anything for Sammy, you know, just on and on and on like that. Like I said, I'm going to, as soon as I can, I'm going to get my printer up and running. I'm going to print all this shit off. I mean, I have proof. Just that way you useful idiots can see how bad it really is. You useful idiots that want to just keep on propagating this bullshit. You useful idiots who say you're healed and just want to sit in this mire of muck. Religious, political muck that these cocksuckers created. My daughter's being abused in real time and nobody gives a fuck. You motherfuckers stay the fuck away from me. You make me sick. You make me so sick. Instigating the abuse. Perpetuating the abuse by your silence, by your going along, by your continuing to pray to Jesus with these pieces of shit. By continuing to judge those who were abused. What do you think happens to a soul that's abused this badly their whole life? What do you think happens usually? You think they end up in jail? You think they end up committing crimes? You think they end up just saying fuck the world and doing whatever? Makes sense, right? That's what I would think. I'd say 90, 95% of our prison population is full of people like me. Who were abused undescribably as a child. While all you cock sucking, lazy fucking faggots all sit around and watched it and listened to it. Fuck you! Oh, mm. <sighs> what a fucked up system we live in. My ex-wife takes her, she's like, well, the crackhead has always been the crackhead. He'll always be the crackhead. You know, the cops can't even change that. So sad, man. So sad. In my text to my ex this morning, I put in there, you know, that she's just perpetuating the child abuse that she suffered as a kid. That's what it's enraging her. She hates it when I say that. I said that, I've texted her that a few times in my life. It enrages her. And I'm the only one that says it to her. And it's so obvious. 
It's so blatantly in your face obvious. You idiots will sit there with these families that just perpetuate this abuse and just live in this abuse and find excuses for the abuse and just continue to pass the abuse down and live in an abusive system and live in a selfish system and just continue to pass that shit down. This is hell. This is Luciferian hell. And you guys love it. You love this shit. You eat it up. You want to be the best at it. You want to master it. You want to control it. You prop up other assholes fucking stories just so that way you can create your own story. You guys are sick. Selfish. You're not human. You show no humanity. Do you have a soul? I don't know. Because you show no humanity. Hmm. If I had one feeling, I'm outwardly showing feelings, but that's because like literally I can't, the words won't come out of my mouth unless they're angry. They don't deserve to come out of my mouth unless they're angry. But I'm not angry. The feeling I have that I'm dealing with is a an intense sadness and dread. When thinking about this situation, because I just know no matter what I show, no matter what I prove, no matter what I say, no matter what is proven that People have clung on to their beliefs so hard and built their life around it that it doesn't matter. I'm an inconvenient truth. My kids are an inconvenient truth. And it's my fault because I didn't heal. Because I didn't stand up and heal as a young person as I should have. You know, when I got out at 16, I didn't open my mouth. I, I went straight into... I buried out of, I buried my abuse out of shame and just jumped into the joys of this world. And my ex-wife did the same. And the difference between my first wife and me is we went two different roads. I have continually tried to figure this shit out and fix things. And my ex-wife has just completely given up on fixing anything or healing anything and just completely dedicated to herself, to her life script. No matter who gets railroaded along the way, no matter who gets crushed along the way, no matter how many lives are sacrificed along the way, no matter how much misery she causes along the way, she's going to do what she has to do to get what she wants because that's all that matters. Because that's the path she chose. It's disgusting, guys. It's absolutely disgusting. And you can't call out abuse and sit here and hold on to your dogmas. It's impossible. Because you can only expose and heal so far. That's just the way it works. So yeah, man, I... um. Just processing things, recognizing things, remaining calm. Um, just trying to understand. (sighs) 
just trying to be calm and peaceful where I'm at when everything inside me just wants to physically take care of a, a situation. That can't be physical. There's no physically taking care of this. There's nothing physically I can do. Anything physically I do ends up putting me in jail. And perpetuating the problem. And the only thing I can think is, well, if people aren't listening to me here, maybe if I take a drastic measure and do something like that, maybe people listen to me from a jail cell, from a prison cell. Maybe then what I'm saying, you know, people will have to be like, oh, oh, maybe we should have listened to him. Maybe, maybe there was something to all this abuse he was telling us about. Maybe he wasn't just crazy. Maybe he wasn't just looking for attention. I still can't believe some of you cocksuckers are so filthy minded. You actually would propagate that about me that I'm looking for attention. Mm. <laughs> Y'all are sick, man. Y'all are very sick. Sick people. Sick, sick people. <sighs> the only thing that gives me relief is to know that this shit is being put out there. It's not being hidden. It's put it being put out there verbally so there's no questions about the abuse. There's no questions about any of it. If you all choose to ignore it, that's your choice. That's fine. It's your choice. And guess what? It's, a, it's, a, it's America, baby. You choose to ignore the abuse, it's fine. It's an abusive system we live under. This is just, this is just an example. That my ex-wife and my mom are just a perfect example of women who have learned to use the system completely to their advantage. That's all it is. My mom, my ex-wives, my sister are just a perfect examples of of women who have used the system perfectly to their advantage. That's all it is. So anybody who props up this system, anybody who enjoys the pleasures of this world, anybody who enjoys all this shit, anybody who, you know, is bamboozling and making their own shit up. That's what I'm saying. I'm hurt, guys. I barely even made it this far. I'm barely making it through every day. I don't want to live. I have no desire to be alive in this hellhole anymore. This shit doesn't change. I'm sitting here screaming at the top of my lungs. And nobody cares. And nobody gives a fuck. In fact, it's the exact opposite. People do care. People just wish I would die. They wish I would shut the fuck up. They wish I would disappear because I'm such an inconvenience to their pretty little worlds that they've made for themselves. It's sick. It's absolutely disgusting. We have become so inhuman. <laughs> mm. God. Makes me sick to my stomach. It makes me want to puke. I'll stop there.